All right, this is what I've been training for. I'm not gonna let Senpai down. What do we have here? Find duplicate number. Given an array nums containing n plus one integers, where each integer is between one and n, inclusive, prove that at least one duplicate number must exist. <laughs> of course, because of the pigeonhole principle. Child's play. Assume that there is only one duplicate number, but it could be repeated more than once. Find the duplicate number. Hmm. I got it. If the numbers are sorted, then any duplicate numbers will be adjacent in the sorted array. A simple sort and a linear scan will do. <laughs> As expected, I knew it couldn't be that easy. But if you think that would stop me, then you underestimated me. I have no choice but to use my secret weapon. Hash map. The famous hash map, one of the most powerful data structures for reducing your time complexity, taking advantage of its constant lookup times. However, using a hash map requires me to increase my power level, so I need to wear these to suppress and control my powers in case it gets out of control. Also, my doctor told me to wear them to treat my carpal tunnel. You need some help. Judgment nights of Senpai. <laughs> this question is trivial. Oh my god, he's so cool. And his jacket is so big. Solving this in linear time and constant space requires Floyd's tortoise and hare, a simple cycle detection algorithm where one pointer traverses twice as fast as another, and once they meet, you can trace back to the point where the cycle began. In our case, the values of the array is like a pointer, pointing to indices of the array, which is like nodes in our case. Because each number is from 1 to n, then each value will have to point to a valid index, and since there's a duplicate number, there will be a cycle. Find that cycle, and you will have your answer. What are you waiting for? Code it yourself. Senior engineers don't code anymore. Also, my doctor said not to, because of my carpal tunnel. Because I'm a gangster. Judgment, of 